guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impressions and review on a new foundation that I picked up at the drugstore. I'm super excited about it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So this little bad boy launched quite a while ago in the States and I just recently started seeing it pop up at local, local Walmarts here in Canada. So if you're Canadian and you want this foundation, check your Walmart because it's there and so are a lot of other products. I haven't done a first impressions review in a while on a foundation, so if you do like them, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And before I start rambling, let's get into the first impressions. I'm super excited for this first impressions video. I haven't done a first impressions on a foundation in a really long time, and this one is drugstore, and it's so affordable. I was so excited when I finally found it. So on Wet n Wild's website, it is $5.99, and that is American dollars. At my Walmart, it was on sale for $7.99, so $2 currency exchange difference. Not too bad. $7.99 for a foundation is still amazing, so I was so uh, happy with that. And another thing that's really great about this foundation is that it came in 20 different shades. So that's a pretty good shade range for a drugstore foundation. So I decided to go kind of right in the middle and I got creamy, no wait, I got cream beige, which is a medium and that's usually kind of where I sit. I'm just going to quickly read what it claims on the website. So your skin only better, hence covering it. Our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Especially made with matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a hashtag no filter perfection. What I gather from that description is that it's going to be full coverage and matte. So those are two things that's kind of guaranteeing for us. So high performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. That's really good. Tested under seven light conditions. Yeah, okay. Nightclub lighting. That's a new one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test now that we kind of figured out what it's gonna kind of promise us. Long wear, full coverage, matte finish. So let's see. I've heard everyone talk about the applicator for this guy. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is a glass jar and it comes with a spoolie. So I've never had a foundation that's come with a spoolie before. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm just gonna prime my face really quick. I'm just gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This one is just, it works with everything. So I'm using one that works with a lot of different foundations and I love this guy. It really fills the pores, but also smooths my skin out. And I also find it helps with matteness. Cause as you guys know, and if you are new to my channel, I do have extremely oily skin right here. Everywhere else is pretty good, but right in this area, it's like no matter what, oils. All right, so I'm going to grab this guy. Spoolie. I'm going to give you guys a close-up view of what this looks like. It's just like a, a little, like a spoolie, a spatula. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Ooh, this might be too dark for me. I'm just gonna start with this. Start with a little bit yeah, this is definitely going to be way too dark. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to blend it out with using my beauty blender today. Um, this is just, again, just like my primer, my beauty blender never fails me. So I'm going to use that. So the color is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It actually blended out into my skin really nicely. And the two swipes did a lot of coverage. So you don't need a lot. That's awesome. gonna add a little bit more on this side um, one thing that I'm noticing with this foundation is it dries a little bit quickly so maybe do one section at a time because um, I kind of struggled in this area to blend properly so I'm gonna add a touch more So right now I have one layer with a little bit extra on this side and I'm, I'm actually really, really liking the color, the coverage, and right now I it really does look matte. Like I haven't even set it or anything and it's not looking dewy whatsoever on the skin, 
which is great because sometimes even with matte foundations I still need to set a little bit before I even see anything any matte kind of finish so that's kind of nice I really like the way it blended out although that one point that I made earlier um, to work a little bit either work quickly or work in sections because it did dry quite quick on this side so I'm hoping I blended it out all right yeah I'm really liking it I'm gonna try and build a little bit more just in this area and see what happens so let's just add maybe like that can see what happens and just see how it looks build it up a little bit in these areas because these are the areas that people tend to put more in Oh yeah, that made a big difference. That made a really big difference. Adding that just a little bit extra in these areas here, which are typically a lot of people's problem areas, um, it, it helped so much that I really now love the finish as opposed to before it was more of like a, a lighter coverage. So this foundation is definitely buildable. It feels pretty lightweight right now. I mean, I don't, again, I don't have the rest of my face makeup on, so that may change, but just foundation-wise, it feels lightweight. It, it's completely matte on the skin, and I really do like the color match in the end. It, it looks really nice, and it doesn't appear to be oxidizing, but I'll update you guys once my face is finished, whether it does or not. But so far, I'm really liking it, so I'm going to go and apply the rest of my makeup and chat a little further. Alright, so I just finished the rest of my face makeup, and I'm obsessed. I'm loving the way this looks. I don't know if it's just because like my highlight's like really good today, but I'm loving the way that this foundation is sitting on the skin. After applying all the products, sometimes when you're testing foundations, you see that it's just too much and it just looks cakey. But this foundation really applied my contour, bronzer, like blush, highlight, all of that really, really well. It stuck really well. It, it blended amazing. I had no complaints while applying the rest of my makeup, which is sometimes where you kind of hit that wall with foundations where you apply and you're like oh this is a great foundation and then you go to blend other products on top and it doesn't really work it looks cakey it just doesn't blend well ch you know choppy that kind of thing but this one worked really well with a lot of great products i did set it with the makeup forever mist and fix for longevity and because with powders and everything i kind of like to add a mist to sink everything into the skin and make it look less powdery a little bit more natural so I did do that but other th like other than that I didn't set an astronomical amount I just put a little bit of translucent powder right in this area and underneath my eyes to help my concealer for creasing but other than that I didn't set the rest of my face so I'm pretty impressed it's looking great I haven't been wearing it for all that long probably I guess maybe like half an hour now 30 45 minutes perhaps so it's not that long. I will leave in the comments in the description of this video how it lasted for the rest of the day. I'm going to keep it on until the end of the evening right now. It is a little bit late in the day. It is 3 o'clock, so I'm going to wear it probably until 10 or 11 p.m. And um, I'll let you guys know in the comments. And you guys will see in a favorites video if I ended up really loving it or not. But as of right now, I really, really like it. It is affordable. It is full coverage, kind of buildable almost. You can kind of keep it a little bit sheer like I did at the beginning with just the two strokes and then kind of build up like I did. Color-wise, I think it's great. The fact that it has 20 shades also. Yes, Wet n Wild, killing it. I love it. I love when drugstore companies and brands come out with awesome products because it's just, ah, it's nice to go to the drugstore and get stuff that's real good quality and a bang for your buck, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you go into Sephora, it's discouraging when you get two products and you're like, $150, please. You're like, <sighs> okay. So it's nice to sometimes hit up the drugstore and get some really awesome products. And this is definitely one that I recommend. A lot of the products on my skin right now is our drugstore. I'm thinking about doing a full drugstore makeup tutorial and even a drugstore first impression. So let me know down below if that is something that you'd be interested in. Otherwise, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and review on the Wet n Wild foundation. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.